assume reindeer could fly and had glowing noses. Mm -hmm. What evolutionary path and mechanisms get them there? Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you both. Okay, I got this one. Um, what happens? Great. You're going to take the Christmas pre Christmas question. Great. It's all you. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the obvious answer here is uh, that we create a simulation in which that doesn't violate the rules, and therefore our evolutionary history are staving off our own extinction long enough to generate simulators in which flying reindeer make some sense is really the only path. That's a terrible answer. It is. That's a terrible, terrible answer. Okay. Terrible. Um, you, got, you got a bad got, one. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's actually four questions here, right? Okay. Flying reindeer, red-nosed reindeer, um, evolutionary path. I'm going to read that as selective forces and mechanisms. Okay. For each. So flying, flying selection for mechanisms by which they get there, and red nose is selection for mechanisms by which flying they get there. Rhymes red nose with is selection for yes. Um, that is by which we get there. It's in the song. We already know the selective advantage of of Rudolph's red nose. It wasn't rhinitis. <laughs> so that may be the mechanism. That okay. may be the mechanism, but yeah. the selective force. Yes. Like what? You know what? You know he he was able to light them, having you know they. So in this in this rubric, uh, flying had to come first in the, in the order of of character evolution. Flying had to come first if they're just well, yeah. I guess if they're on the ground, still the red nose could help shine shine the way. But you know the problem as well as I do. Do I? Yeah. The. The problem is mm -hmm. the reindeer has four limbs. And if you repurpose any of those limbs for flying, then- We're talking you, about the red nose, dude. Stay well, on topic. <laughs> but you said, four the different questions. you said the flying had to come first. Yes, but I was saying that had to come first. But once you're on the red nose, just stay on topic right. for the moment. Then we'll talk about, yes, the angel's wings and all of that, okay, which so is where we're going. The rhinitis but, is yes. favored- becomes so a you're, so symbiont. You've, you've assumed the mechanism is rhinitis. No, you said that's the mechanism, no, but it's I, not the I, selective force. I said that could be the mechanism. I was actually going to say, I'm not sure what the mechanism is. Okay, I so let's see say it's rhinitis. Photo fours in the nose, I don't know. Because rhinitis only makes you kind of, it doesn't make you glow, does it? Well, only, only some say it glows. Frankly, I, I'm not even sure this story is metaphorically true. They're terrible to live with sometimes. I know. It's just terrible. <laughs> no appreciation for Christmas carols whatsoever. Well, I mean. Okay, it's not even a carol, a song, no, it's a, a story. It's a song. It's and, a, not... and, a, and one of one of the couple of best animated Christmas specials, right? Which one? The Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer one. No. Yeah, I, I guess. No, uh, okay. I don't know. I liked, I liked the one with the Great Pumpkin. Like I said. <laughs> Terrible to Terrible. live with. I know. That was Charlie Brown, I think. Yes. And not Christmas, I think. Well, but. yes, that true that too, but um Okay. The red nose um gets him back in the end group and helps the group navigate um through blizzardy darkness. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's that's the selective uh pressure that uh encourages red noses. Why why there's only one, I don't know, but I think we're just basically getting a snapshot of the of the reindeer landscape, and you would expect it to spread. It seems like a valuable, um, to give a them valuable selective pressure. Also, mm -hmm. after the triumph of the red nosed reindeer, mm -hmm. you have the selective advantage, the sexual selective advantage of having a red nose and being fawned after, literally, by <laughs> the girl reindeer. Yeah, and now it seems to me. That some of the names of Santa's other reindeer are somewhat gender neutral, but I think they're kind of all boys, aren't they? I have oh wait, no, no vixen isn't vixen one. Yes, I think so. That sounds like a girl. That name. really does. Yeah. 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 I don't know how much farther we can go with that. I, we 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 could <laughs> delicately ask the question of whether vixen is a boy reindeer, but is in fact trans and has well, trans been... species. I think. I think it's a girl fox. Oh well, all right. Yep. I think you win that round. I think I do too. Now you were going to take us down the road of the flying and whether or not it's um, what the selective forces might be and how plausible and all of this. Yeah, my point was going to be... Um, it's homology again, isn't it, with you? Well, no, it's really your point. I'm just bringing it forward in time. But the problem yes. with the Pegasus is that it has both wings and four limbs. And so where did the extra pair of wings 
where the extra limbs come from. Well, maybe it's there's a there's a serial homology issue. So you've got a, a repetition of uh, I, I always forget when I'm not thinking about it actively. If it's the Hox or the homeobox genes, you get a repetition, for instance, in the vertebral column that spurs an additional girdle and an additional set of limbs. Totally segmentation. Instead of being limbs, now it's wings. This would be a lot better if it was Rudolph the flying centipede. <laughs> rather than reindeer. I mean, yes, Drosophila are the most studied. The, the fruit flies are the most studied with regard to the um, serial homology and the, and the repetition in these, in these genes. But we have them too. I mean, our, our vertebral column is, uh, is, has extended, we think, uh, as a result of uh, repetitions True. in these. Um, again, I don't remember if it's homeobox or Hox genes, but uh, one being a subcategory of the other. What... Um, were it possible? Yes. What would have been the original selective pressure for uh, wings? And wings while retaining full quadrupedality. Quadrupedality. Uh, I think it's uh, the pressure of the market to generate a flying, self-illuminating mm. servid that... <laughs> I think this question is so far outside my area of expertise that I'm in fact doing nothing other than damaging my credibility <laughs> trying no, to engage it. I think unfortunately it. in some circles you're now enhancing it. Oh, is that right? <laughs> Odd. Yes. Yes.